Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. This is just going to be a quick video on how I do face textures on the WWE 2K19 and 20 games. Obviously you want to start off with getting a face that's mainly front on, just like this one I've got here. Try and make it so it's a large picture as well, so anything bigger than um, 5x12, because that's the format that you'll need to put into the website. So basically, once you've saved your picture and found it, I use a software called GIMP, it's free to use, so it's, don't have much features, that's Photoshop, but it does what well, it does for myself, uh, from the face and tattoo designs that I do. So what you need to do, once you've got the picture uploaded, you want to use the, you want to start, when I open a new window, and then you want to change the width, so it's five by, 512 by 512 anything bigger than that then the um, website the WWE 2K website won't allow you to uh, load it up just keep it as a white background then what you want to do is to go to use this tool here to the color pick tool and what you want to try and use is trying to pick a color roughly around the nose the side of the Nose is the best point. Go to the paint bit once you've found that, paint it. Go back to the first picture. And what I tend to use, I use the circle outline um, tool. Highlight the face around. Try and get as much as you can. Don't worry about if you get any more, like the head or some of the hair on the top or anything like that on. Copy it. Go back to the next page, next bit of the background. Obviously, go to edit and then paste, and just shrink it down to size, just so the face fits more better in the picture in the square. I'll try and do it so it's around about this size here, so three, three hundred ish, or just a little bit smaller than that. So if you go too big, then you can come too wide on the picture when you go to create it and once you're happy with size what I tend to do here instead of going to the paint which I've done here I use the airbrush tool instead and set that at about 75 size and the hardness is normally about 75 as well because even though I'm using paint using paintbrush here you can do exactly the same with the airbrush just go around all, all the sides, over the forehead, around the mouth as well, to try and get rid of like any facial bit, any facial facial beards or features, because then you can get that, put it back into the um, into the game itself. Uh, once you're happy with all that, use the blur tool and just blend that all together, so it makes a bit of a more smooth finish. Um, that way you don't get anything highlighted, another no light bits. And so literally just keep on trying to blend it in so it looks as good. What I normally do with the airbrush as well, I normally go around the eyes and around the nose. This is an old video uh, which I've done. Um, I'll do a, a newer one soon um, just to show what I do. But this technique does work as well, but with the airbrush it gives that a bit more detail. So you can see when the eyes is a bit more lighter. So you airbrush around the eyes as well that blend all the colour into one so it'll make a much more better picture when you go to use it on your created wrestler. Um, so you just keep on blending it, make sure it looks all right. I tend to only do half face because then as you can see now what I do now I'll section that half of the face off. And once I'm happy that it's lined up perfectly or about where I want it to be, which normally is down the middle of the nose and make sure the mouth is centered as well. Once you do edit, copy, paste it, and then you see it's loaded up and then you just use the flip tool. So you click on that and just click on that image and then it flips it. Then go back to the cross move tool bit and then you just line it up so your face near enough marries up. If it's spot on, it should be fine. If you do find lines down the middle, then just use the blur bit tool and just go down the middle of the face just to make sure there's no lines going down the middle. So it looks perfect as you see there. And once you're happy with that, 
make sure there's no problems. You want to go to export and you want to make sure that it's sent as a PNG save format. That's the only, with WW2K the website, that's the only way you can put it through on the website is by PNG. So just save it onto your desktop, onto your USB. Let's do export. Once that's saved, that's all done. And then go onto the WE2K website. Go down to obviously face photo. Make sure you want 2K19 or 2K20. And then go to your desktop, find the face that you want, and you upload it. Hope this tutorial has been fun. I'll do more about tattoos ones as well. Sure. So, till next time, see you later.